All right, guys, we got a little Beretta CX-4 action for you. Kind of a quirky little 9mm carbine. Still a little shooting we'll talk about in a minute here. All right, pepper poppers got to go down. <laughs> All right, let's see. Not bad. Seventy five yards. Heck yeah. Dude, it's like the size of a grapefruit down there. Dude. <laughs> oh no. That was a malfunction of me, not the gun. This uh large um stop on here i keep riding it uh down with my thumb because i'm so used to that thumbs forward grip on like pistols but uh this is a neat rifle um welcome back everybody this is chad with irec veteran 88 88 by the way uh, these are kind of quirky old guns and uh, i'm actually happened by one of these at mall spawn recently and uh, michelle had one used on the rack and i just had to have it very very clean example this is a beretta cx4 storm uh, this is a uh, italian produced nine millimeter carbine so these are kind of older guns and for a while I thought that they uh, actually had discontinued these but uh, turns out they actually were just um, ceasing civilian sales for a while on export because they were filling some uh, military and police contracts from what I understand but these are still in production today and they are available um, actually uh, was on Big Daddy the other day Big Daddy Unlimited looking for magazines and we've picked up some 30 rounders and some of the 20 round uh, 93R mags on Big Daddy. And these guns actually are available over there as well. We're running a variety of different ammunition today. Uh, in the intro there, that was some Winchester Active Duty. Uh, this is some 115 grain, just ball ammo. And these do have a NATO head stamp, so that's some pretty hot 9 millimeter ball. But as you can see, very, very accurate setup. Uh, these guns have always been known for just good reliability, just very accurate platforms. It is a 16 inch cold hammer forged barrel, uh, mostly polymer construction. Um, one sort of downside is the hammer is polymer on these. So there are some companies that make some aftermarket parts so you can replace the trigger, the hammer, a few other internal parts with uh, metal components if you so choose. Uh, so far I haven't had any trouble out of them. Um, rather ergonomic grip. You've got a very nice case that this thing comes in. It's a molded factory case, hard shell case. It comes with a spacer in the rear for the stock. The sights are fully adjustable for windage and elevation. And on the rear, you actually have a couple of diopters. You can go from short range to long range. And what we'll do is we'll use the long range in just a minute for the 75 yard target and see if that makes a difference. But I mean, it was hitting pretty much right on where I wanted to be, uh, you know, with the short range setting. But this cool thing too is the sights will actually flip down further out of the way and the front side will flip down too and that way you're out of the way for a red dot so if you've got a, a low mounted red dot on here and you don't want the rear sights or the iron sights to co-witness you can drop those down and get a really clear picture on that dot and then you just have to flip them back up which I'm going to utilize my little microtech here as a tool flip this sucker up real quick back to the short range setting full length Picatinny rail on the top here some other features of the Storm here, you do have full ambidextrous controls. You can swap uh, the magazine release, the uh, bolt handle, uh, the safety and such, all from left to right side. Uh, you can swap the um, ejector and everything on the bolt from side to side. The bolt is very, very beefy. Uh, I will pull it apart here and I will show you. It's got a little, uh, little lock right here. Pull that thing out and then the entire rifle just kind of slides apart. So it just comes apart in two halves and then your bolt will actually pop out here. Pull your charging handle out and you can see the bolt is your typical nine millimeter blowback style, large and very, very heavy to contain that nine millimeter. But you know, the barrel's just retained by a, a nut deep down in this little chassis system here. Um, very lightweight. I mean, just overall, just an interesting rifle. Let's get this thing back together real quick and we'll do a little more shooting. But um, you can see on the bolt here, there's a little retaining, a retaining clip here. You pop that off and then you can pull the ejector, the extractor, um, all the necessary components out, change them from left to right hand, eject. I mean, very, very universal you know, rifle. I can see why a lot of uh, 
you know, police forces and militaries and such around the world would be interested in this rifle. And not only uh, the fact that it's a good gun itself, but also that it shares compatibility with the Beretta 92 uh, for magazines. So with that, with that being said, you've kind of got a perfect pair here uh, between the 92 and the CX-4. Now also the CX-4 will accept the, um, the actual uh, CX series magazines. Um, we actually did a video on one of the uh, PX-4 guns a little while back, the nine millimeter handguns. So those actually have an adapter, I believe, that will allow them to take 92 mags. I'm not sure if the 92 model has an adapter to go to the PX-4 mags. Don't quote me on that, I'm not sure. Uh, one other neat th feature here, you've got some uh, little spots here for accessory mounting, such flashlights and all that kind of mess. Um, these do come with the rifle, but also you have a little rail that pops out in the front you know, for a weapon mounted flashlight of some kind. So you could pop like a little Surefire M300, a little Olight or something like that on the front. But just a neat gun overall. And really we just brought it out here today just to um, run these mags that we bought and just make sure the thing's gonna function fine with a variety of different ammunition and uh, such. And I'll probably put a uh, red dot on it at some point and yeah, you know, just play around with it. It might make a good little home defense tool for my wife because it is, like I said, relatively lightweight, easy to shoot. She likes the ergonomics of it. So uh, this is just kind of taking you guys along for the ride and testing this sucker out. But let's run another 20 round mag with some more of the Winchester. And we'll take some more shots at 75 with the long range aperture. <laughs> So far, so good. Let's see if I can keep my uh, thumb off that slide stop and make sure that thing is gonna hold open on these magazines real quick. So I'm just gonna shoot 75 yards for several rounds and see what happens. Cross bolt safety, pretty much common fare. So, all right, 75. Oops, might help if I flip my front sight back up. All day long. All right, go for 35 yards here. All right, let me go back to my short range sighting here. Heck yeah. I mean, it's all in there, dude. Okay, I rode that dang Release again. All right, one more time. I'm gonna make a very conscious effort not to ride that sucker down. All right, my thumb is off. All right. Okay. Now one of these old mags did have kind of a quirky follower on it, so that was probably that magazine. Not not showing high marks for the Beretta CX-4 and locking that bolt open. All right, let's try one of these 30s. Another conscious effort to keep my thumb off of that slide stop right there. All right. It is a rather large slide stop. It is. I mean, maybe I could find an aftermarket that's a little bit more yeah, low profile. It's pretty big. It is pretty big. All right, never shot these 30 rounders. <laughs> All right, let's see. All right, we have success. Yes, locked <laughs> open. 30 round Beretta mags. Now we just need like a 93R to go with them. Those are factory mags. Woo, yeah, I mean, they say PB Cal 9 Para made in Italy. Hey, hey. hey. <laughs> 35 yards and back, let's see. My ears are falling off. Get that man bun in. <laughs> Shake that man bun.
What a fun gun! Man! That thing is so neat. All right, let's lock it open. All right, let's try some hollow points. Some hardware points. We got some uh, Winchester, or no, I'm sorry, these are Federal. This is 124 grain HST. There's just a few of those in there. Actually, there's like 10. Let me take out those sodas. Some HSTs. We got some white box here that was shooting really good earlier. Now that's your factory mag, so it fits pretty flush. You know, open the grip. All right. Yeah. I dig it. I like the it. The bolt locked to the rear on that last mag? It did. Okay. Yeah. Yep. So you're just riding your thumb up? I was, and that one mag, I should have, I think it's this one here. It's got like a, it's got a kind of rounded over ledge on the uh, follower where it actually engages with the, the stop. And it's just not riding the stop up far enough on this particular gun. On the handgun, it works fine. So, eh, one that's of those one of my old things. 93R mags. Yeah, I mean, that's an old one. The newer ones have a little bit larger uh, base plate on them. You see the comparison there? Got that small metal base plate. This one's got a plastic base plate on it, looks like. Maybe that's aluminum, but eh, regardless. All right, we're loaded up here. Cool. All right, let's take a few more shots at some soda pops. I'm gonna shoot three of them, Eric, with these. And I know it's like kind of a redneck comparison, but I wanna shoot a few with the uh, white box hollow points as well. Take a few sodas out. I mean, it's, you know, soda pop with hollow points, so you know what's gonna happen there. All right. All right, I've got a dent in that one plate here about 20 yards away. Let me just shoot a few shots into kind of a group here. completely satisfactory in the uh, accuracy department. I mean, I think too, this is a testament to like a long barrel carbine like this may not be the most ergonomic thing as far as length goes for everyday carry in a vehicle, that sort of thing. But you get full velocity out of, uh, you know, duty ammunition and uh, also just very, very accurate. I mean, not to say that the short barrel guns aren't accurate and we've shot, you know, one to one and a half inch groups at 25 yards all day long with multiple short barrel nine millimeter carbines and pistols. But man, there's something to be said about that extra velocity that you get out of a long barrel. All right, these are the white box uh, Federal 147 grain hollow points. This is kind of the less expensive uh, duty ammunition. Uh, these can be found pretty much all over the place and they come in at a really, really great price. All right, soda pops. Keep my thumb off of that release there. There we go. I'd say they pop pretty good. Did they pop better than HST? Oh, we still need to put these in gel and see what they do. Yeah, we do. All right, another little group here. Ooh, ooh that sucker's getting warm up front. All right, let's see. Stuff shoots good, man. Shoot. I mean, I'm just picking a little dent on that plate to aim at, guys. I mean, and these are just iron sights, remember that, so. All right, 35. All right, those last three shots were on the bottom of the plate and they stacked in like a few inches at 35 yards. Oh, man. All right, one more mag and we are gonna let you guys get back to your day. So eventually, I'm probably gonna pull the barrel on this and have my machinist thread the barrel, and I might get like an over the barrel type can or something for it, but I always wanted to suppress one of these. I mean, given a, being a blowback, it's pretty easy to suppress. I don't really mess with things too much. Uh, I'm gonna run some 140 grain uh, S and B. These are 140 grain subsonics, okay? And that'll be the final mag. And you know, I mentioned that the front was getting a little bit warm. Uh, it's not really the, the chassis itself. The plastic is cool to the touch, but I just put my thumb on this mount for the rail up here and you can feel that heat transferring off that barrel real good right there. But I mean, the, the forearm is great. It's just nice and cool, even after all that expenditure of ammunition. So, all right, one more mag. Dude, I love how flush fit the 20 is. Man, I know, it's just great. 20 rounds in your hand. All right, subsonics. Let's see how these shoot real quick. Uh, pick me another spot on that plate, kind of over there on the left.
all right, not bad. You know, not bad just picking out a little fly, you know, on that plate to shoot at. Highly unscientific. Highly unscientific. All right, look, there's that one soda hanging. Let me see if I can hit the uh, soda in the very bottom of it. Oh, drain her <laughs> out. <laughs> And we're locked to the rear. Yeah, I think it's just a matter of keeping my thumb off of that gargantuan stop right there. But man, what a cool little rig. Forgot to mention the uh, charging handle is reciprocating for those of you who don't like reciprocating charging handles. But uh, I'm happy. I'm very happy with this, with this purchase. And uh, all the magazines ran really great, except for our oldie, oldie there that didn't lock open. We'll just put her to the side. But hope you guys enjoyed the video and this quick look at the uh, Beretta CX-4 Storm. Very cool, quirky little gun. I dig it. But uh, anyways, thanks guys for watching and uh, wanna give a special shout out to all of our Patreon supporters and those of you who purchase man cans and other merchandise and uh, accessories over on the website. Uh, if you head over to Ballistic Inc, you can pick out some custom t-shirts that we do. Uh, anything like that helps support what we do here on the channel and keep these videos flowing. Uh, anyways guys, until next time, take care and we'll uh, see you soon.